So in the last video, I told you I had something very special from Small Rig, and we're gonna take a look at it today. It's the new RC450B bicolor LED COB light, or cob light, and its accessories. So we're gonna go right over here and take a look at it. So we come right into the studio over here and we've already set up our small rig RC450B bicolor LED cob light. And right off the bat, after I took it out of the box, there are a few key special things about this light. First, I'm just gonna start out with the yoke what is commonly called a yoke on all lights. This yoke is very different compared to any other light I've used before. It's got a, what we call happy handles, a large ratcheting handle that unlocks and locks the light. The other cool thing about this is it's, it's almost like a fluid head as if you would see on any tripod. So it keeps tension on the light. If I was to loosen the light and let go, it goes nowhere. That way the light doesn't fall back on you or fall forward on you. It also comes in handy when you put big shimmers on the front of this light. You can trust that this light is not going to off balance too much and then dip forward like a lot of lights do when you put parabolics, lanterns, anything like that. It's not going to keep, it's not going to tilt the light forward when you do that. Another cool thing is it almost has a tripod base plate. Right there you go. It unlocks and then it slides in and locks in place just like many tripods do. And then I can also slide this a little bit forward and a little bit back if I want to adjust the balance of the light when I have something heavy on the front of it. I will also say that this is a fairly heavy light. So when you're in this configuration, it's okay. When you're trying to arm it out, a regular boom stand is not going to work for you. You're going to have to put this guy on some kind of menace arm, something much more heavy duty and much more professional film equipment because it is quite heavy once you get the lanterns or soft boxes on, on the front of it. And just like most all cob lights, it has a Bowens mount. And take that off, put that on, quick adjustment, and I can use everything in my photography studio with it. The beauty dish. Pop that guy right on there, and it's ready to use for photography or any set lighting that I need to do, commercials or movies. Beauty dish is very nice and soft light. That's why they call it a beauty dish. Another interesting thing about this light is the front of it. It seems to have kind of a Fresnel cover over top of the front circuit on board LED light. Something I have not seen on most other lights before. Next is the four pin XLR. That is quite different on most of the other LED cob lights that I've seen in the past. Most of them tend to be multi-pin, five pin, six pin, it's much smaller, but this is just a standard XLR uh, power input like you would see on an Alexa camera. Another cool thing that I find out about this mount 
is there's a slot, not for rain, but for photography umbrellas. Well thought out because all the other cob lights I've seen in the past do not have this feature where I can use my umbrellas, photography umbrellas, not rain umbrellas, but photography umbrellas with this light, which makes it a true photography studio light and a film commercial set light. Well thought out from small rig. So let's plug it up and give a look. Set to the tungsten setting. As you can see, beautiful light, then go to daylight. This has a range of 6,500 Kelvin all the way down to 2,700 degrees Kelvin. Just to give you a little bit more of that bluish light or orangish light if you need. And they have a bunch of FX presets already in the light. Paparazzi, fireworks, and you can control the frequency of how you want it to happen. You can also control the color temperature which sets this light apart from other lights. So if you want to do a tungsten bad bulb setting where the light is flickering, or you want to do a daylight, or you want to go just a little bit more blue and go up to 6,500, you can do that with this light. There are some great presets in here. There's your faulty bulb. And like I said, you can change that color temperature all the way down to 27. Get that nice tungsten bulb effect, or you can go a little bit higher up to 6,500 degrees Kelvin. Get it just a little bit more blue. And you can control the frequency of the effects of how you want it to appear. Do you want it to be faster? Do you want it to be slower? You can do that with the frequency knob here. Now, I know you might be saying, oh, Look at the light. It's got all the controls on the back of it. Yes, this is true, but you have an option. You can buy the small rig controller that fits right on the stand here. And it's got a magnetic backing and clips right there to the stand. It also has a very long cable, so if you needed to go to a floor. So I understand if you're going to raise the light up, then you think, oh, I can't, how am I going to control the light? I got to get on a ladder every time to actually change the effects of the light. Let's turn that up. Well, no, you have this controller here. Plugs right into the back, little five pin deal. And now you can control the light from the controller from the ground. So you don't have to climb up a ladder every time and change the settings of the light. Your color temperature, your intensity. or just turn it off. Now this is an extra feature. You have to pay extra to get the controller, but there's also another thing about this light. Unlike other companies out there, it's fully intuitive. You can get the small GoGo -Go app for your phone, and you can control all the light settings. 
So don't need to buy the extra controller. And you don't, you don't need to get on a ladder to change the settings. You can just have the app, turn the light on, connect, and you're ready to go. And you connect all their lights, their RC350, their 220, their 60, all the lights that they have out there you can control with this app. Control all the effects as we just did before. Right out of the box, no extra parts and pieces. Don't have to buy the controller if you don't want to. Now, it also does not have DMX. That might be a downside for some. Doesn't really matter if you've got an app to be able to control this light with. Only you're going to see DMX in much larger situations. That is the small rig RC450B. Right now, this is the brightest light that they have. And I assure you, it is plenty bright for any job you need to do. So that was the deep dive into the new small rig RC450B LED cob light. And coming up in our next video, we're going to go into depth of some of the modifiers that you can get with small rig. That's the lantern and the parabolic softbox. And as always, we hope you like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to always go out there and keep shooting.